Welcome back. In this video, we want to discuss the V2 update to the Link app regarding the cupping profile pack. As users of the Link may already know when it comes to cupping profile recommendations, there is a lot of choice. In fact, there are over 205 profiles currently spread over five inboxes within the Link system. In the new update, we wanted to introduce some of the additional functionality that we have managed to improve on when it comes to cupping profile suggestions. These updates are to make your selection process easier than ever. Let's demonstrate. Start by opening your Link app. Now select New Sample Entry and then Cupping. We will populate the volume by weight density and then select a process for the lot we are roasting. When clicking Done, we will notice on the suggestion page three data populations. First, we note that there is still a suggested profile number recommendation at the top. This suggested number will be the profile you are to look for in any of the five cupping inboxes. The populations below that are new. These new additions show a profile pack recommendation of a primary and secondary profile pack that you might want to try as a starting suggestion for the sample you have. Link's globally based beta testing community has done wonders in providing Sam and Jerome with loads of very useful data regarding taste, performance, and selection preferences. This data has been used to better understand which profile pack suit a coffee process and density range by correlating this feedback and combining it with our own data. We have been able to enhance the suggestion algorithm for the cupping space to make even more consideration in the solution recommendation process. We are excited to now be able to allow the user's data inputs more power to also be used to recommend the most suitable profile pack styles for the cupping samples you wish to prepare. If you are not familiar with why these suggestions will be valuable, let me quickly explain the five different profile packs. Within the link system, all five cupping packs each have different desired first crack times. Ideal development percentages, target roast degrees, and lastly, rate of rise increases. These differences to each of the profiles can be noted in this comparison display. The different profile curves were made to allow the availability of an option that will be suited to any style of coffee wanting to be roasted and cupped. These different profile pack curves also offer a variety of roast options for a cupping style more suitable to a particular consumer's preferences in roast degree and taste. Let's get back to those suggestions and what you should be taking away from them. The primary suggestion is what the largest majority of the testers within the selected link beta group commonly agreed upon as the profile setup that best worked for the density range and process of a coffee that was similar to the inputted data from the user. This recommendation of primary suggestion is to guide the user to a starting profile and pack that's believed to best express the characteristics of the sample providing the best expression on the cupping table. This suggestion will also hopefully get you closer to achieving a better theoretical roast approach right from your first batch. Hopefully, it saves on guesswork, coffee wastage, and time. In the section below, we may also see a secondary recommendation. The secondary recommendation is a profile our data shows will also be very suitable to your sample. The reason this secondary suggestion has been made as a backup is mostly due to your sample having a wider range to work with that can express the coffee qualities favorably than just what can be achieved solely by the primary suggestion. Another possibility as to why this population has been made is that the inputted data from the user shows a split minority preference of some of the testers picking this approach as their preferred starting point. The secondary preference will allow users to be more selective to their own tastes, giving an alternative option to picking a start approach, or a direction they should move on to roast next should the primary starting pack suggestion not be exactly what they were looking for. Lastly, note that if there is a dash population in the secondary preferences, it was unanimously agreed upon that the primary suggestion is the best starting point. Remember in all of this, a user has the freedom to use the link however they please. These starting points are merely suggestions. If you have established your own protocol for selecting a pack, 
you roast your samples on, do not let these new suggestions deviate from how you have chosen a pack in the past. And that's a wrap. From the team, we hope this update makes roasting samples and selecting an approach easier than ever before, assisting you to be able to host better cuppings each and every day. As always, happy roasting.